we go. All right, we are ready to uh, go ahead and we, we sit up. We found our right handle. We found our right positioner head. Now we're going to set up the strip and crimp. Piece of cake. Now that we have the right positioner and the right tool, selector knob was selected for 20 gauge. I'm simply going to strip my 20 gauge wire. And I need to strip it. <clears throat> strip it in this pin. And what I want to see is the pin fully inserted in a, where I can view the wire in the inspection hole. And then I want about a fingernail width um, clearance. We just uh, worked on changing an alternator, so my hands are full of uh, grease here. I'm going to go ahead and strip this wire. Wire is stripped, and I'm going to check the insertion. Now, I got it into the bottom of the cup, and I can see the wire, but however, my insulation is disappearing into the top. So, what I need to do is go ahead and try again. I'm going to try to strip a little more, and sometimes you can strip a little more, however, uh, many times you'll have to cut and just start over. Wow, still not enough. All right. These are a good pair of strippers. I can, I can take a little piece off at a time. That's kind of nice. All right, now we're talking. All right, now it's at the bottom of the cup. I have about a fingernail gap and I can see the, the window. So it's good. I can set that to the side and simply just drop this in. It drops if you have the right positioner. The teeth are going to mesh and line up right where we want to crimp it. It's kind of dummy proof. So it's sitting in the bottom. You're good. You take the wire and just feed it directly into the pin. And this is it. This is easy. Once it's in there, you just squeeze the handle. Squeeze the handle. Release. Give it the old tug test, and of course inspect the, uh, the hole to make sure that you can see the wire inside the, the inspection hole. It's good. Once you have that, that's a good pin. It is ready to go in. This is where you got to be careful. I forgot to latch the door, and I have a gigantic mess when I picked it up. Ah, shoot. So anyway, what we remember, luckily there's only a blue and white. There's several different types of green and white. Blue and white, we are good to get. So with the blue and white, you have an insertion and removal tool. And it even says on here, if you don't remember, blue is your insertion, white's your extraction. Typical um, extractors and insertion, a lot uh, typical extractors and insertion tools are white and some other color. White is always your extraction. That being said, there are special orange and yellow, orange and blue, orange and uh, red that you're gonna have to look look it up. Okay now on this side um, You have your insertion tool Here's my pet peeve. Here's where people break these. They're expensive and easy to break If you go in the wire and try to insert it from the tip, you'll break the tip. You'll break it off easy It's easy to do This little slot here is designed and it's in your notes in our lab The slot is designed to take the wire and to press the wire into the slot and then feed it with your thumb up. This one's very easy because it's a small gauge wire. The bigger they are, the harder they are to get in this slot. So I just take the wire and I just simply, let's do that again. I lay it in the channel, I take my thumb and I just slide my thumb up. Slide it up and kind of pull on at the wire, right? And it's in. And then now I can just simply feed that up the pin. Don't jam it, don't slice it, don't dice it. You put it up here and feed it in so it sits up against the lock. This little lip, this little ledge on the pin is the actual locking mechanism, right? Sits up here and now I have it in the channel. It is ready for insertion. I find my pin. My pin, you can see the labels A, B, and C. Typically pin A, or if it's a number uh, connector, pin one, is always in line or next to the big key. You'll see the fat key, the big key, and then the little keys around the outside. You'll find the number one pin or letter A pin will be right by the big key. So I go to A and I just press in perpendicular, not to the side, not cocked, but straight in, and you'll feel it. You'll, and you'll hear a little snap. 
When you feel that snap, you do nothing more than pull straight out, and your pin is, your wire is now locked. Your pin is fully inserted. Again, you give a little tug test. You don't snap it because you'll break the lock. Just a little tug, and it's good. Inserted. You're ready to go. Pin a few more, you're great. Now I want to extract it. When I inserted it, this little tip, there's, you'll see a little ledge. That ledge allowed this thing to insert and then pull out of the lock and not release it. That, that you'll see a little indentation on insertion tools. On the extraction tool, you'll see nothing more than just the end of the tool itself. In a pinch, what I've had to do if I didn't have enough extractions, I cut off that lip and it will work as an extraction tip. All right, so with this uh, extraction tool, again, I want to lay it into the slot, pull it up, and allow it to fall into the connector, and into the tool. If you have trouble, use alcohol, use spit, and get it in there. Don't use spit in class, but I mean out with your own stuff, right? So you can use alcohol, though, to make this a little bit more slippery, and alcohol to help feed it into the back of this connector if possible. You're gonna feel resistance. It's, if you feel a lot of resistance, you're, going, you're crooked. You need to go straight in, perpendicular, go straight up into the connector and you'll feel it. You'll feel it go in and just stop. Once it goes in and stops, you just simply pull on the wire, not the tool, and the whole thing will come out. If you only pull on the tool, nothing's gonna happen. You'll just pull the tool back out. So you gotta go in, unlock, simply yank, pull it out, and that's it.